Left ventricular assist devices, or LVADs for short, have been around in some form since the 1960s. They were once used as a bridge to keep patients alive until a heart was available for transplant. But now, as we see in today's medical news, the newest versions are better than ever. Did we check it, Dave? I'm going to double check it. Several years ago, Ruby Moody suffered two heart attacks and flatlined in the hospital. Today, the 79 year old is going strong thanks to her left ventricular assist device, or LVAT for short. I would fully recommend it to anyone that loved life like I love life to. to go that route. LVADs remove blood from the left ventricle of the heart and pump it into the aorta. The device was once used as a temporary solution to keep patients alive until a heart transplant. But now the pumps are being used as a permanent treatment for many patients. It's a good thing. And for those patients who need it, it's life-saving. The newest LVADs are smaller, more durable, and provide continuous flow. Now, researchers are studying whether they can actually heal hearts. Doctors are implanting LVADs temporarily in hopes that they will shrink enlarged hearts and reverse some of the damage. Then they'll remove the devices. <coughs> Ruby plugs in her battery-powered pump every night. It takes some effort, but Ruby and everyone who sees her says the device has changed her life. Her quality of life drastically improved. You know, she's she's back to doing the things that she loves. As I have more energy, I can go watch my great great-grandson play football.